Dude. So these cameras, Epic gave us these cameras, right, Kyle? They did. <laughs> Why did they give them? Uh, For a present? Well, to record things, to document, and, you know. And uh, we were excited. We were excited to receive our cameras. And then we opened them up and realized that the retail of the cameras, they're $59.99. <laughs> Cut camera. <laughs> Cut camera. <laughs> First, there was a lot of excitement about the D album, right? Mm -hmm. Just on its own merits, right, 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 right. And then the, in. the Dust Brothers got involved, media event, and it became point. an media event. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that you look like Jack Black? <laughs> if you two looked a little more alike. Then we would really be well, the perfect you match. The then, then we fucking landed somehow. Dave Grohl, and yeah. then it was a combustible Edison. Were you inspired to write songs because of us? I mean, did you did you go and like write? Okay. <laughs> oh, no, that's cool. Wait, but did you, uh, hold on. And then all of a Your sudden, nash. wait a second, who? Steve McDonald? S. McD. And that's when the cross. stock plummeted. Oh my gosh, Steve McD. I tell you, the camera loves you. Really? The you look like, who is this? Is this guy a musician or a fucking model? He says now, he says, I'm Dr. G, I'm Dr. G. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, dude, there's only one Dr. G. Dr. G is replaceable. We could always get out, you know, like maybe perhaps like Marilyn Manson's drum machine. I mean, he's great, but he's no Dave Grohl. When you guys were thinking about coming in and making a record, did you think you were going to make most of it in a day? No, I know, that's insane. You guys got the best rhythm section, the world's greatest rhythm section, so... <laughs> I know, I feel like we did. So as far as being the world's greatest band, the, band, the rest of it's, it's still back in your court. I'm feeling like the album, the, the, the raw power of the D, yeah. is is a spontaneous vibe. Okay. Yep. okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. totally. It's, and it shouldn't be overproduced. Shouldn't be over. For, don't let those fucking best brother guys. Get you, wait, 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 so wait. wait. Well, remember that fucking pause. Wait, let's bring it in here because I don't yeah, want to. I didn't want to say anything before, but pause now that you've opened up the can. Boom. I mean, it's the only time. Free time. Do the contracts not even done? Guys. See? Not even close. What's your lawyer's name? <laughs> Cheatham. I forget Prince. his name. We've never met him. Dude. No, but he's, I heard he's awesome. I can't do it. He's suspicious now. We should probably. That's cool. All right, let's get. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. How are you feeling so far with the D album? I feel good. I feel like I, I feel like the brothers are honest with us. They mm -hmm. were able to tell us when we were stinking it up, and they don't really hold back. That's good. That at all. No, that's good. Which is, I guess, why we're paying the big dollar. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> we are in the Dust Brothers' lair. <laughs> John, is it gonna just be? Is it just gonna be you today, or is there, or is uh, Mike coming too? I think he's here right now. What? Hello, hello. You told us we could just show up whenever we want. I can't run this thing. <laughs> what about what? We're show ready, up whenever you ready, want. What's ready, that gonna do? We're ready to go. No, what, you know, people are. Uh, what are you doing on the Tenacious D project? Eating. Anybody want some soup? I don't wanna finish it off. Soupy soup. I'll jump on there. I 
have this idea for a um, an upscale Monte Cristo sandwich. Dude, I love the Monte Cristo. And instead of just normal cheese, you just throw a little brie in there and it puts ah. it into a whole other level. Do you consider the Monte Cristo more of an entree? Oh, or absolutely. more of a dessert? No, it's an entree. Right. It is the most decadent entree, I feel. Maybe if you had a, uh, a pastrami burger as your entree, yeah. and then the Monte Cristo as dessert, that would be pretty... pretty That'd be much. true, but you'd also have to barf. <laughs> You can't say that we're bigger than Jesus, but you could say that we're more kick-ass than Jesus. Because <laughs> I raised Jack from a pup. I took him under my wing. And well, he was like a he was like a piece of coal at the beginning, and I thought, you know what, there might be a diamond in there. I'm not sure, but let me I don't have any other friends right now, so. John, if you don't mind, would you please tell me again what it is about my guitar playing that's actually better than Kyle's? Whoa, whoa, that's whoa! When I play guitar, it's more rockin'. <laughs> More rock and mail, manly <laughs> rock and roll. Uh, yeah, I don't even know how you do that. Is that Cage is said? very technically, technically sound, classical, <laughs> jazzy. Shit. But then when Jables takes a stage, rock and roll. See if you can see a close up of my fucking blister on my fucking pinky. Cause that's fucking rock and roll right there. Does he does he bother you? Like like he bothers me. The tape the tape's off now, so we can still like because he's I mean, in, like to, to be honest, kind of arrogant. Well it's not that, I just think there's times when he's you know, there is an excess baggage factor. What? Sometimes there's well, like know, too many cooks bullshit. and then he like he sort of imposes his opinion yeah. just out of like some insecure place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it, and it kinda distracts like, oh, the look process. At me. Yeah, maybe I have a good idea, you know. Yeah. I was thinking I'll uh, change the strum a little bit when I go quiet. And then he like dances around like, I'm an actor, I'm funny guy. <laughs> Dude, you know, like, okay, hey, I'm let's glad just you're... focus. <laughs> you son of a... Oh, I can't fucking do it. I can't do it physically. I can't physically do it. No! You know, you can go camera on now. No, I thought Jack was like kicking ass. Now we're talking. I mean, it's just like the crucial. Thing. Yeah, I know. I he would just blow me away, take after take. And his ideas. Does it work? Cause, I mean, well, he's a visionary of the group. He's a visionary of the group. He's so generous. I mean, no, I, I, but, there's nobody more generous. But I don't even mean no. like financially or anything like that. Although, yeah. you know, he did buy me a slush last week at 7 Eleven. <laughs> How does it end? There's many layers what he has to offer. He is, he is multi-layered. You're born with it. Ah. I think it was something about a masculine quality that I had that Kyle didn't. Apparently there's been a masculine gauntlet thrown down. Cage, you seem like you have a lot of pent up, it's frustrated all that energy. This friend of mine, Pete, was working at the Viper Room. Mm -hmm. I remember him. I remember him well. I was here Still making going. our second record, and he said, You gotta go down to the Viper Room and see this band, Tenacious D. So I blew it off. I figured. It sucked. And Pete stayed on you. He said the next time he saw you. Next week he badgered me. He wouldn't let up. So I blew off the second week too. Oh my god. And then, <laughs> and, but the then, third and then he week. said, yo, no shit. You gotta fucking come down. Or else. Fuck. Bitch. So I came down. We gotta get Pete like a fruit basket yep. or something. Fruit basket, make a note, fruit basket. And then, and then, uh, you know, I was on the floor, knees, tears, freaking out. You know what really got me though? Mm. When you started One sucking minute. your own cock. Yeah. That's that's when we got you hook, line, and sinker. Drove it home. Did it change the way you felt about rock music at all? Well, it did redefine rock music for me. <laughs> what you were just
just playing there, yeah. it still sounded real rapid fire. Like, um, like the way Jack does it, it's a little dreamier. Kyle's, Kyle's freaking out. To be honest, he is freaking out. Talking bullshit, my part was bad. Ian was on the beat. Jax is laid back, swinging. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. But there was some good stuff in there. Hello.